see the native girls. Now, of course, the question is, are the native girls visible within this window? Are they the, the uh, markings of whoever was interested in seeing inside that room? Fun. It's completely impossible to get into it. There is no door or ladder or anything. It just says fun, but it's only inside. Yeah, that was a building being torn down somewhere in LA. I think it had been a store. And I guess there had been workers in there, and that was who it was directed to. We don't smoke here but it looks like somebody blew the place up. There it is again, we don't smoke here, but we don't have any problem with setting off long sticks of dynamite. Okay, so that's a street in, in Venice that's right near the beach, and the sign says beware of cars, which I've never seen a sign phrased in quite that way, but. So we have a uh, 1960 Ford, which was probably brand new at the time, and looks like a 58 Chevy convertible parked next to it. These people, God damn it! Oh, I'm sorry, that was my fault. <sighs> and that, uh, that I shot when Bev and I were in Paris in the early 70s. And it seemed like the, uh, the circus guy had a pretty good lion. Now, how about a sign made in steel, etched out of steel, a permanent, absolutely indestructible piece of lettering to say that the lift not working. Anyway, that was in London. It kind of put you in a negative mood even before you know what's going on there. It's just like saying, get out of this picture. It's not working. Yeah. That was taken in uh, a junkyard, the uh, Atlantic Auto Wrecking, which was a yard that specialized in really old cars and fragments of cars. I don't know how long they lasted. But anyway, someone had uh, put their sentiment about Dwight Eisenhower on the hood. Smokey Joe's Cafe, somebody wrote a song about it. It was very popular in the late 50s, and I think maybe that was how it got its name. And this whole area totally disappeared. It was swallowed by the Beverly Center and a luxury hotel, so obviously this stuff wasn't gonna last in that. These were shot, I think, when I was taking my first class in photography from Don Chipperfield in about 19... Hmm. 58 or nine, I guess. And this is a window of a store or a restaurant, I guess, on Hollywood Boulevard. Well, it has a nice uh, grid over it that's made by the chain link fence. I don't remember where this place was. It looked like it was maybe a place just moving into the store with some curios. This is much better. This is. A metal, a printed metal sign that depicts um, a really extravagant Sunday. I mean, and that's a close-up of the same thing. Look how how they rendered the uh, the chocolate sauce. I, I was really taken with that. That was uh, an advertising sign for an auto wrecking yard uh, in Glendale on San Fernando Road. It's still there, but the sign is gone. Always three big features. Somebody pointed out to me that there actually are four features, so it isn't exactly what it says it is. And those are some newscasters probably still active. I think, I thought that the, 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 uh, the men were, were uh, being very attentive to the scene that was happening outside. In other words, 
they knew about that car being there and they were looking at it to make sure that it didn't come to any 